Hi guys, uh, welcome. Today I am going to tell you about uh, F5. It will be introduction today. So I am Santosh Sharma. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, let's start. So this is my diagram I was making. So I have it as the packets here. Let me select the pen. Okay. So to understand the I5, uh, first I need to tell you about the uh, other uh, load balancer, why the requirement of F5 was observed, why F5 and other companies of load balancer came. So earlier, uh, we were having a DNS. Let's take a simple example. Suppose today I build a website test.com and it works on port 80. In the starting, it's not that much famous and I'm getting very less amount of requests. Uh, there, there will be one fiber here. Diagram is not complete based on mine. Okay, so here will be a firewall. So it will handle the packet and will scan and will send it to my server. So over the time, uh, I'm getting a lot of requests. It has increased a lot. And now what is happening? The load on my server will increase because I'm getting a lot of requests. Now my site has become so much famous. So what can happen that my CPU utilization will go high, my server can hang and my services will inaccessible because my this server is not that much capable of handling so many thousands of requests. So what I have to do, I have to settle two more servers as for my requirement. I have settled two more servers. And now I want that whatever the request will come, these requests should be load balanced to all my three servers, server A, server B, and server C. My request should be load balanced to this. Suppose this computer will send a request, it should go to this. Second will send request, it should go to my server B. And if third computer sends a request, it will go to server C. It's not like that only uh, like it will be divided into first computer, second computer, or third computer. Suppose any second request, whether it is coming from the same computer, should be load balanced to the next server. So for that, I need some type of load balancing. So I have placed one DNS server. And as you are aware that DNS server keep records of all its entries. So DNS server will save all these IP addresses. Suppose these IP addresses are I have given to my server A, server B, and server C against my website www.test.com. So my DNS server will add this in its post entry or in its database. Now, when request will come like this, PC want to access my this server. Request will come over the internet and will hit to my firewall and then will go to my DNS. My DNS will redirect it to server A. The next request will come, my this DNS server will redirect it to 0 0.2. Third request will come, then my this DNS server will redirect this request to server C. Uh, okay. So now it's working fine. My work is going fine and my website is accessible by all the users and I'm happy. But after some days, what happens? My this server went down. So the connectivity lost. Now what happens? This computer has requested the website. My server will send it to this. Again, it will load balance as it was doing as earlier because it do not have any type of technique to remove this server's entry from the database. So it cannot remove that. So the third request when will come to this DNS server, it will again send that request to this server. What will happen? There will be an error message. This type of error message user will get 404. There's an error request your error was not found. Again, the request will come. Maybe now this time it will send to server A. Page will open. If again third request come and it went to server down, then again my website will not be accessible. So that is really a great problem. 
also a reputational problem users may think that this website is not okay it's working sometime and sometime it is not working so i should be having some smart decision making device for that let's erase all these okay so now i need a smart device so i have replaced my dns server with f5 ltm f5 ltm is smart enough to make the decisions now how my requests are being handled now my packet will come to this it will hit to my f5 and will go to server a again it is doing round robin process my second packet will come it will go to f5 f5 will load balance it to my second ip address is 0 or 2 third packet will come third packet will hit to f5 f5 will load balance it to server c again fourth packet will come and server will load balance it to server a sorry ltm will load balance it to server a the fifth packet when come and will go to server c uh, b sorry so now you are aware that this there is a load balancing happening what if server went down suppose this server went down what will happen uh, wait for a second i need to check the time uh, so how my f5 is making decision this server suppose it goes down now we have a f5 now f5 is not like a dns that it will make a probing it will send a probe signal and it will come to know okay this is not live it will clear this entry now f5 will load balance between these two servers now one packet will go to server a second packet will go to server b third packet will again go to server a so this type of load balancing happens in f5 this is uh, there are two type of load balancing in f5 we may discuss this later but i would like to give you a highlight one is static and another is dynamic in static there is a round robin and ratio so what i have explained to you was a round robin but there are also another techniques in uh, dynamic like least connection faster predictive so you can also select those i will also show you the overview of f5 so now let's take an example how f5 works so this is my user my user want to access my website so how it will access the website this is my load balancer let's say it is a f5 this is we will assign uh, we will create one virtual server in our f5 and we have to give one ip address to that virtual server so now if my this user want to access www.test.com it has to come to my load balancer and hit to this ip address not to the ip address of my nodes okay so what we are doing here uh, we will uh, here we are making fool to our user user is not aware of these ip addresses user's connection is only between this to this means client to up to my f5 there is another connection that is initiated from my f5 device to my server so like my server got a request it will send to server a again which i have explained you earlier to c to d and it will send back to my f5 now my f5 will send reward to my client so we are making full to our client and there is a one virtual server which is working in between uh, this server and the client okay so there are some terms of f5 which we need to take consideration uh, what are those like virtual server you came to know what that virtual server is there so we need to define that virtual server in our f5 it will work virtually virtually handle all the requests of the client all the connections and will send it to our servers the second thing is node what is node my physical servers are called nodes these all are nodes and these will be having some ip addresses these are the ip addresses next term is pool this 
all node A, node B, and node C I have to add in one pool, and that is called a pool. This pool is defined in F5, not here anywhere. This is defined in F5. These nodes are also defined in F5. Now let's move to the next is our pool member. Now what's our pool member? Node IP, this, and the service. What service is running? Suppose my server, this server having 80 server, so IP address plus this service 80 is my pool member. So there is always a question asked in an interview. If I have a three node, how many pool member I would be having? So it depends upon the services. Suppose in one node or one server, you're running two services like 80 and 443 also. In all three, you're running 80 and 443. So, so you will be having six pool members that we need to define here. So that is the way how our F5 works. Okay, so uh, let's see what's our next topic is the traffic flow. Traffic flow, I have already discussed with you how it goes and do the load balancing in all those three nodes. It depends on the type of load balancing technique that we have selected, static or dynamic. So it's working as a full proxy. There are two connections. One is between a user to F5, and the second connection is between F5 to my server. As I already told you, my F5 is sending a probe signals, so it will, know what service is up and what service is down suppose my 80 service is up and my 443 service is down my full uh, my full uh, this server is not down this is up like in our earlier case i have told you that all my this server is down then it will do the load balancing in between these two servers but in this case my 443 service is down in node c my 80 service is up now my f5 is so much smart that it will do load balancing of port 80 between these three servers but the load balancing of 443 will happen only between these two servers so uh, 12 minutes have passed to record this video i think is so much time okay so this will be our lab this we will create in our next video. So guys, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe and give comment if you want any another information on that. Okay, bye.